Hi everyone, my name is Amy Dixon and I work for Stu Leonard's Wines and I'm very excited to tell you today about some comfort food and comfort wine. And you go, comfort wine? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Usually I have a beer with my meatloaf or my chili. Well, no, there's a lot of great wine alternatives that don't break the bank that are in the everyday price range, 10 to $15, that are fantastic for that chili or meatloaf or mashed potatoes. And I'm going to tell you some great recommendations today that you can take home and uh, tighten the belt a little bit on the budget and, and still have a great meal. So let's start off with some of my heartier favorite, favorites over here. We've got most of the beef dishes, and you're talking meatloaf, you know, meat-based lasagna, meat-based chili, you know, good beef chili with beans. And the recommendations that I'll give you here, uh, we're going to follow up at the end. I'll give you a whole list so you can go out and buy your favorites. But generally speaking, we're going to try some great Spanish reds. I would recommend some of the stuff coming out of Argentina, particularly Malbec. Try a nice Chianti Classico or even a Bordeaux or Cabernet. These are going to show great with your heartier dishes and not overpower your meal and complement it beautifully. Moving on to a little bit lighter style food, uh, you're going to want to try things that are going to pair with chicken and you know more of your turkey chilies and your chicken pot pie and chicken soup. Now these particular types of wines are lighter in body but have nice full flavor and the wines that you're going to want to pair with this type of food are going to be things like Cote de Rhone and Pinot Noir and even lighter bodied rosés, something nice and crisp and clean. And then moving on to something a little bit heartier, if, you're, if you have a heavily seasoned chicken, like a good roast chicken, you're going to want to try something like a, a nice buttery rich Chardonnay which is full in flavor and full in texture but without being big on price. Moving on to uh, my, my personal favorites as far as comfort food is concerned, mac and cheese and mashed potatoes. There is nothing better than mashed potatoes and gravies this winter. You, know, you want something like that's going to be nice and crisp as a contrast to these very rich dishes. Obviously, you're going to have a lot of butter in your mashed potatoes like I do, and your, and your gravy is going to be pretty rich as well. And of course, you know, you've got the cheesiest of mac and cheeses over here. You're going to want something to kind of cut through and have nice acidity and be crisp and clean as far as food, food friendly wines. And two of the no brainer great values are Pinot Grigio and Sauvignon Blanc because again, mac and cheese is not an, uh, we're not talking haute cuisine, we're talking great value for, for stick to your ribs kind of food this winter. So something nice and light and crisp like Pinot Grigio or Sauvignon Blanc are perfect, perfect for this type of food. Moving on to dessert, you've got, you've got to do a nice home-cooked apple pie. You know, mom's apple pie is the best, and to serve with her apple pie, you're going to want to try something like a, a delicious sauterne that's very rich and full, a lot of apricot notes to it, or something on, to contrast it that's a little bit peachy and floral like a Moscato di Asti. Particularly, this Nivole happens to be one of my favorites. So. Welcome to winter and comfort food and comfort wine. And uh, please look at the following suggestions for my top picks. And I hope you guys stay warm and stick to your ribs with some good food and some good wine. Cheers.